Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will recognize the purposes of and differences among sample surveys, experiments and observational studies and we will explain how randomization relates to each. And now we will discuss three methods of data collection. First is sample survey, second is experiment and third is observational study. Now whenever we want to draw a conclusion for a population, we use a sample from the population and investigate it according to our need. But sometimes sample is not an appropriate method of data collection and we have to use experiment or observational study to draw the conclusion. Now let us discuss all one by one. First of all, let us discuss sample survey. Now, a sample survey is a study that obtains data from a subset of a population called sample and generalize the results for population. For example, you want to know who will win the election for the captain in your school. For this, you will not go to each student and ask their opinion. Rather, you will collect a sample of students from the school maybe 50 students depending on size of population and will conclude about the opinion of all the students in your school. Here, sample survey is the best method to know the result. Now in this study, population is all the students of school and sample is the 50 students surveyed. Now the sample collected should be selected according to size of population. It should be a true representative of the population and it should be selected randomly. It means sample should be unbiased. Each member of the population should have equal chances of being selected. So, the sample collected should be selected according to size of population. It should be a true representative of the population and it should be selected randomly. Now let us discuss experimental study. Now suppose a company wants to know does its math tutorial software will improve the algebra skills of high school study. Now for this it will not be appropriate to perform a sample survey to know the effect of its software on students. Rather, the company will follow an experimental study to know its effect the company will randomly choose high school students, maybe 120 students who were not using 
the software now the company will randomly select 60 students out of these 120 students and give them the software to use now out of 120 students 60 students are given software to use and 60 students are left as it is now after Six months, the algebra skills of 60 students who used this software will be compared to the algebra skills of remaining 60 students who did not use this software. After comparing the two groups, the company will draw a conclusion about its software and this will be an experimental study. Now here we will post the software on 60 students in order to observe their response. Thus the group on which we impose the software is called treatment group. Now this response was typically compared to the 60 students who did not use software. So that group is called control group. Thus experiments deliberately impose some treatment on individuals in order to observe their response, this response is typically compared to that of a control group which is a group of individuals who are given no treatment. The individuals are assigned at random to the selected groups that is treatment group and the control group Now, this randomization will minimize bias and will produce groups of individuals that are theoretically similar in all ways before the treatment is applied. Now, let us discuss observational study. Now, in observational study, individuals are observed and no attempt is made to influence them. Here, the researcher simply observes what the individuals do naturally. Suppose you want to find out whether the 10 years of smoking affect the lung capacity. For this, we will do observational study because we cannot impose smoking so we observe the lung capacity of the people who are smoking for 10 years to the equal number of non-smokers and here also the sample chosen of the smokers and non-smokers should be unbiased
The random samples can be selected for the groups being studied or surveys. Do not compare groups and so do not address cause and effect. Good observational studies and experiments are designed to be comparative, that is, to compare data from two or more groups looking for a relationship between variables, but only a well-designed experiment can determine a cause and effect relationship. So in this session we have discussed three methods of data collection that are sample survey, experiment and observational study. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.